<clears throat> hey everybody, the Bong is here. Welcome to Sanctum. Today is October 10th, 2019. And we got a lovely amount of people here who are also 10 out of 10 in my book. But anyway, I think we are going to be doing some new Super Mario Brothers U. Which was a particular game... It was in a five-game poll on YouTube, and one with close to half the votes. Sl Jack 2 was actually pretty close, and Assassin's Creed 2, not so much. But anyway, we're going to go through, like, the base Super Super Mario Bros. U. There is new Super Luigi U, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Let's walk before we can run. So let's get started. I think I'll play with the gamepad because my other controller is being charged. Here we go. If this uh, gamepad actually dies out, I can go get the pro controller. So let me know how everything sounds so far. I was such a good dad teaching his kids how to drive airships so fast. Look at Luigi over there in ski pose. <laughs> hey there, Rock Hawk. How's it going? And everyone just got launched into the D's nuts tree. <laughs> oh man, these must be all the nuts that one guy in Canada found in his car. Like there was a, I think it was in Ontario, that one dude opened the hood of his car. After like, noticing a different kind of sound coming from it. And there was like 200 walnuts in there that was stored in there by squirrels. Like, how does that even happen? It's a good thing it didn't cause any, uh, cause an accident or anything. That would have been nuts. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> wow, Lemmy is a better driver than Tina on Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Acorn Plains. It's pretty plain, and there's lots of acorns. Alright, I will try to get all the secret exits and all the star coins. But I'm not making any guarantees I'll get them all on the first try. Oh, your stream went well, Rockhawk? That's actually pretty good. Like, no latency issues or anything. You, you came out sounding fine. Oh, I skimmed right over that one. Good to know you would have, like, regular latency issues on, like, the uh, Google Stadia that's saying it's going to have negative latency. So, they're, they're basically saying, or at least they're reporting, I don't know how true that is. For all we know, that could be a crock of shit. Um, they're saying that with negative latency, the game will put in predictive inputs, which sounds like a recipe for disaster, especially if it's, I don't know, multiplayer. The AI is just going to face each other. The game is just going to play for you. So I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Could that be something you can just turn on and off? I, I hope you can just turn it off. But that would sound like a very bad thing to happen. Stadia has been pretty controversial lately and hasn't even come out yet. So I hope the news on it is just mere exaggeration and nothing else. Why did they give me so many acorns? I just think I suck at this. <laughs> Get out of the way, you stupid water wings. I want all the coins. Give me the coins. Oh, poo -hoo. Okay, that almost hit me. Hmm. 
Rockhog, I, I seriously can't tell if you're joking. Because it's kind of hard to tell over the internet. <laughs> um, if you can look in the title, it says I don't have deluxe. That this is the Wii U version. Oh, that's totally understandable. That's why I put it in the title. <laughs> oh, hold on. I didn't even have my uh, Twitch dashboard on. I might want to do that. Helps keep me in the know of, like, uh, how is everything going on stream when I'm paying attention to the game. Also, apparently I'm one follower away from 500, which is pretty damn good. So I don't know if I actually uh, mentioned that in, during the ukulele and the Impossible Lair stream, hey there, Cole, that uh, Doom Eternal got pushed back to March 20, 2020, which is also the same day that Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming out. And then you gotta go to GameStop or EB Games and see like a good amount of people in the lineup. And then you have to tell which one is going there for Doom and which ones are going there for Animal Crossing. And I think it would be pretty hilarious if it's the opposite of what you expect. Ukulele in the Possible Lair. Uh, that's right, you weren't even at the last stream. It's really good. But the last level is pretty hard, which is the exact gimmick of the entire game. The last level, by the way, in Ukulele and Possible Lair is also the first level. If that makes any sense. Oh. Can I hear you? And yes, thank you, Cole, for exhibiting that a Nightbot is here. If you input, like, certain commands, it will tell you the various social media that you can follow me in. Well, hopefully you get the chance to get it someday. If not, you can always just check out the original ukulele. That one's really good, too. Plus, I think uh, ukulele in the impossible lair for the Switch is... has a little bit of a sale. Which is good, because for some reason the Switch version is more expensive than the others. Now you know where to find it. You just have to click the link. Hey there, Fury. And yes, indeed, I am streaming. Especially this game. Missed the second coin, apparently. Really? You don't think that outline gave it away? <laughs> I have to come back to this level anyway, so I'm not worried. Believe you me, you're not telling me anything I don't already know. Plus, I got to, like, uh, get my bearings back as to where everything is. I'll get lots of coinage out of this. Start stockpiling lives like I'm storing nuts for the winter. Preferably not in some dude's car.
You're homesick and bored and grew tired of no interactions. Yeah, I don't blame ya. I go through like a lot of days with no interactions and it sucks. <laughs> Even worse if you get sick. Hmm, I think I was supposed to hit the other block. Ah, uh, let me go back a ways to respawn him. There he is. Hey there, little buddy. You're gonna help me out. There, I did it. Well, I don't think the ones around town are gonna close down. I haven't heard anything about it. Which is good, because there are some other game stores that are pretty expensive. And I find that EB Games is not the cheapest, but definitely not the most overpriced either. Most of the stuff that's overpriced is like the uh, other novelty stuff. I'm supposed to go up somewhere else. Oh, wait a minute. There's the ramp, of course. That was a bit of a dead giveaway. Yeah, I did it. I found the stuff. <laughs> Luckily, there is, like, a game store across the street from where I live. Well, not completely across the street. Maybe a couple minute walk, but just not bad. And I tend to get good games there, or get rid of the ones that I don't need anymore. Like, for instance, I got the Ezio collection not that long ago. Yeah, I know, Cole. I haven't for completely forgotten. Blooper secret lair. Alright, we're on one dash squid. One dash squid sounds a lot like a Splatoon episode. Which, by the way, I've only played Splatoon once and could not get into it. If I want to play anything that's a shooter, I just go with Goldeneye or Perfect Dark, thank you very much. And maybe, like, Turok 1 and 2. Those were pretty good. I'm gonna have to try out their online again, eventually. There's a coin. Let me get that one. Oh! Okay, this is just basically an underwater cave with like a lot of currents and stuff. And jet streams. And uh, calamari that I can't eat. I've heard bits and pieces about Warframe. Never really got into it, though. And it, well, I never tried it. But there was one guy that I know who has, like, a fair amount of skins on it. And you can, like, create your own music in it, too. Hey. Let me throw! Okay, fine. I'll drop him this way. Like, if I was more into these kinds of games, like, um, online strategy-style games, that'd be great. 
Unfortunately, I just never really had the motivation to play them. This seems like a pretty quick level, then. No, there has to be more. Yeah, there's more. I figure there was more to this stage. Oh, whoa, where'd you come from? That pipe over there is the only one that's not spewing any uh, jet streams. That's pretty suspicious. And just as I thought. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> The only strategy games I can think of that I played are like kind of RTS. I don't know if you can call them RTS. Yeah, they're pretty much real time. Uh, Command and Conquer series were definitely the games I played back then. And I played a little bit of Dune 2, which was pretty neat as well. But that was like years and years ago. Back then, I was able to beat Command and Conquer like the last part of the stages only because of a glitch where if you build sandbags around anywhere enemies will not try to destroy it so I can put like a pile of sandbags in front of the enemy's entrance seal it off completely and they'll never get out I could just like harvest all the resources and leave them with nothing that was something I would used to do back in the day. Oh man, I love that they're still advertising Miiverse. <laughs> Even though that service is probably obsolete now. I think we'll leave that alone because I'm not going to go to World 5 yet. Pick a block, I'll give him my image since I'm gonna shuffle and watch out you don't pick a Bowser. Eber Nee Eber Niger with the follow, by the way. Oh man, I didn't even look. I was too distracted by a follow that now I gotta hope I don't get the Bowser. And guess what I just did? Do not pick the middle. It's good to know that that message actually came into the chat after I picked the middle. Man, I had like a one in three chance to get that Bowser, and of course I pick it. I mean, it's still better than watching that one guy play XCOM and he missed on a 99% chance to hit an alien. Man, that would be a lot of fumes going through your head. <laughs> Ooh, ice flower. I like the fire flower more. However, at least the ice flower was able to kill a lot more types of enemies. Sounds like Grotus. It wasn't Grotus, by the way. Forget who it was. I'm starting to think that guy didn't even finish the game. Anyway, I'm not even gonna fret about it because I have no plans to play XCOM. Or, you know, like Mario vs. Rabbids, whatever it's called. A game that ends up on sale probably 300 times a week. <laughs> He's like, come on! We need you to buy this game already! I'm thinking people have just moved on from it. People still play Mario vs. Rabbids? Or did the novelty wear off pretty fast? Oops.
Mario Kingdom Battle is pretty cute. I mean, I can kind of see that. I can see there's, like, charm in, like, how it's presented. But I just wonder if, like, a lot of people still play it. At least there's one good thing we can say about certain Nintendo games. They won't go over, like, 100 plus gigs. Like, you won't have to decide between Mario Kart or Mario Party to, like, delete one forever so you can actually play something else. I don't think you ever have to worry about that problem. Oh, look, it's Boom Boom. Boom 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 Boom, I don't want you in my room. Oh, people will say that uh, boom, 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 or whatever it's called, is the magnum opus of Venga Boys. Either that, or we like to party. <laughs> it's one or the other. Oh, by the way, uh, Eber Niger, thou you are the 500th follower on my Twitch. Thank you so much. That's much appreciated. You are a part of history, my friend. Oh, you had to delete games because your SD card was small. Yeah, mine's like a 64 gigs. I had some uh, digital ones recently. Yoshi Hill. Or maybe it's actually pronounced... Yo, she heal, man! She a total heal! Not even a person! It's a hill! Like, literally a mass of land! Interesting game, you like it so far. Which one? Oh, this one? Oh yeah, I, I like New Super Mario Bros. U. It was good for its charm. I mean, maybe some people soured on it because it was almost like the exact same game as New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And to an extent, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Like, it just felt like the same kind of game with like some minor changes. But then again, the people that probably soured on it would say that uh, Madden is still revolutionary, despite nearly being the exact game, too. And probably souring on Call of Duty for the same reason, even though I think people are souring on Activision for other reasons, which I won't get into. But I'm sure it's all over Twitter. I really like how the music beat just changes because you have a Yoshi with you. There's a pipe over there. Like, I've beaten this game fully before. And I've beaten, like, almost all of New Super Luigi U, except for one stage that I was unable to get one particular uh, star coin for, because it's in literally one of the worst stages of the whole world. Maybe if I ever get a chance to play New Super Luigi U on stream, I could show you where it is. Anybody that's played New Super Luigi U, take a wild guess where that coin is. Yeah. I'm sure anybody that's played that game would already know. <laughs> Yoshi! As in, hey, I'm Baby Yoshi. Yoshi! You look like you know where to find food, so I guess I'll follow you. 
Man, the Rosetta Stone to learn the Yoshi language must have been pretty cheap. <laughs> Everything is just Yoshi. Yoshi as in, hi, how are you? Or Yoshi as in, where'd you hide the bodies? And they are the same. It's, like, it's actually opening its mouth to the music. What is this? Oh my god, look at those lungs. They must fill up. Well, at least I can use them to float over stuff. If I need to. And it still eats, too. Whoa! What the? Uh, uh, oh, nice. That was a bit frightening. <laughs> what the hell even bounced me back? Hi, Cody. I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Welcome to the show, by the way. Oh, almost didn't make it. Got a decent crowd here already. I mean, still, like, hardly enough for partner at all. It's, again, you need, like, 75 viewers for that. Like, I literally hit every other milestone that I need to hit for partner status on Twitch. Except for the number of viewers. That's the only thing holding me back. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good. I was still able to inflate after getting hit. Whoa, jeez. I missed the platform. About to play some Monster Hunter World after you smoke. <laughs> That's cool. I used to play Monster Hunter 3, and I just couldn't get into it. Then again, the worst thing you can do with Monster Hunter is play it by yourself. Rise of the Piranha Plants. Must have been talking about Smash Ultimate. <laughs> Oh, hey, come back! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to throw you into that giant plant! No! No! Come back! Oh, please stay alive, thank you. He's smart enough to not walk off the edge. So he's just a few IQ points above Green Koopa. I have a feeling people want me to keep this thing with me. What? You, you don't eat the hammer bros? Why not? Hammers are good. You get lots of iron. Usually in the uh, hammers themselves. You need to work on your diet, bro. Alright, if you got a question, go right ahead. I got time. Feel free to ask me anything. Ugh. Hey, can you stop throwing? Thank you. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Uh, 
since you've beaten almost all the Breath of Fires, you think you might make it to Breath of Fire Dragon Quarters? I mean, I have the game, so it's a possibility that could happen. Although I've never gotten a chance to play it yet. Plus, I heard it's not really done the conventional ways you would to beat the game. And that's why some people kind of didn't like it as much. Because it felt so weird compared to, like, the other four Breath of Fire games. I like that it's still going with me. Ooh, one up house. I only have 29 lives, man. I don't think I can make it. These cans about to fire a barrage of coins and one ups. Try not to hit the Bowsers. Got it. You can hit the Bowsers in real life. Oh, oh, I missed that one. Oh, I... damn. Uh oh. Uh oh. That went sluggish. I had like six lives. This is only World 1, I haven't even finished it yet. Well, I kinda knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I wanted the star! You know, for after the enemies are dead. Take a free start. Let me swing back castle. And I just abandoned the baby Yoshi. It's like, alright, you find your own way home. I'm done with you now. I'm tired of you. You and your inflation. If I wanted to deal with inflation, I would just get in the economy. Ayo! Seriously, it kind of sucks. <laughs> Usually that's one of the reasons why the Canadian dollar is so shit. <laughs> and why, like, video games are, like, really good ones? I didn't even know that was there. Like, the AAA titles tend to be around 80 bucks after tax here. Like, 80 Canadian dollars. Like, that cut's pretty deep. Huh. Oh, oh. I did it. Man, I have like 39 lives. What does this game take me for? There, I'm gonna leave that dry bones like by itself. It has nowhere to go. I am such a jerk. Uh oh. Okay, if it's swinging right. Actually, no, I can make it on that pipe just fine. That one's a bit risky to do, though. Cartridge is like a hundred Canadian dollars or something, at least a video too. I'm gonna mention that on stream as well. But um back in the 90s, certain cartridges, especially like Super Mario RPG, for instance, 
Put somewhere around a hundred bucks. Hey man, I was actually really pleased to get it for my birthday one year. Your bombs are useless, my friend. And if you like know where the enemies are just gonna pop up, you could excuse me. You can easily just keep camping on them. Guys, I want to know how much a cartridge is in Costa Rica. I mean, hopefully it wasn't as expensive as like an Adobe license in Venezuela, which unfortunately they can't get anymore. Especially hearing on Twitter that they're going to be like revoking all Adobe licenses for like Photoshop and all that. And no refunds. Which is really awful. Especially for uh, the people in Venezuela that do like commissions and stuff. Or have to use like Photoshop for their art projects. Or even just work in general. Oh no, I, I want you to come back. Oh good. I don't want you to suffocate. <laughs> long I can keep this thing because I can keep this thing forever I, I'll try oh. oh come back give me your nut wait that sounded wrong I don't mean that kind of nut <laughs> Those coins, though. Link's Awakening. I guess you're talking about the Switch version. Fifty-one thousand four hundred and ninety of your local dollars. What the hell? So if you really want this game, you gotta figure out like uh, which of your organs you don't require anymore. Jeez. That is just wild. Like what is the worst inflated currency? Is it still like in Zimbabwe or something? I'm sure that can be found on Wikipedia or something. Like, good lord. Oh, nice, I got ones. I mean, it's just mushroom, though. I'll take it. It's it's a free one. What? Oh. But yeah, that is very expensive. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, 
this stuff is terrible, blah, 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 blah. He's so fast, I'll never catch him. Mario, gotta help me. Okay, fine, I'll help. Nabbit went back to the first level. Sadly, you can't fast forward this cutscene. Spirit in Venezuela, a game called Crazy Bus, pretty much all but buses from Venezuela. Is it kind of like Desert Bus? Where it just keeps going infinitely? Or at least until actual distance? And most people will only play that if there was like a monetary incentive to do so. Other than that, why would they? Like, why would I want to get money for something that's going to make me suffer? Oh, I get, like, the P.A. corn. Oh, technically I didn't even set foot in World 5. <laughs> so I can't even warp to it if I want to. Unless I just walked there. Alright, I'm gonna pay attention to what's happening. <coughs> Bless me. I'm gonna pay attention to the game. And maybe no one will follow me when this is happening. Thanks, Fairy. It's the right one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's right, I can pick up another item. Did anybody watch the mushroom? I, I don't want another item, I want to leave. Oh my god, I didn't even notice this! Look! If you actually, like, glide above the toad, he gets this existential dread. Because he knows you're coming. Left. Uh, stand up when it comes to backseat gaming. It's technically not backseat gaming if I ask. Like, it's only when people tell me, like, how to beat a certain part before I even, like, get stuck. But if I'm stuck for, like, two or three minutes or so, it's fair game. Hey. This is mostly for pokies, got it. Eat up. Yeah. You need to get all the coins to get to the secret level. You mean in here? I didn't think it was tied to, like, the amount of coins. I thought it'd be tied to, like, just finding the right path. Also, for anybody wondering, it's not really a spoiler if you say something in the game. Because I have beaten this before. So this is not blind. Maybe the secret has something to do with this. Oh no, that just leads to a coin. Oh 
great bats, of course. Why the hell are pokies giving off light, anyway? I don't think that should be happening. Do pokies get, like, lots of x-rays and are therefore radioactive? Why is there a pipe up there? That was weird. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to go up that pipe. Or I couldn't do it. Unless I was to like, jump up from somewhere else. That's funny. I was holding up and it didn't happen. Alright, I guess I'll have to try this level again. At least I can skip through most of it, though. Honestly, I've never been able to hold on to that inflated Yoshi this long. It's finally nice to uh, bring something you can blow up and it'll stick with you to the very end. What? Uh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's try to get that third coin. Eat up. Plenty of spikes to go on them balls. I mean, I can get why pokies kind of look like fruit. Ow. Because a uh, cactus is a fruit. And that's something I never really knew the whole time. Wait. Oh god. Oh god, what have I done? Yoshi, please do not chew your own. Oh my god, this is so unsettling. Looks like I'm about to choke. Look at him. His own. What the hell? I'll come back, don't you worry. Like right now. No, no. There it is. Wait. Hold on. Oh, there's another pipe. There's a green one. Isn't there some kind of fish that keeps its young in its mouth? Uh, in Mario 3, yes. I forget if it does in this game, too. And hey there, Kozani. Welcome to the show. done goodbye blow up Yoshi and also goodbye non blow up Yoshi it's been fun 
I held on to that thing for like three or four stages, and now I have to let it go. It's usually a hard thing to do to leave you the young ones behind. Ooh. Nice of this level to actually have lamps. Even like on the seesaws themselves. Okay, this level can be a very annoying if you're too impatient. Oh, pfft. okay, that was a bad idea. That's right, it eats the fire. This is what it's like when you go to Chipotle, I'm sure. It's like literally eating fire. Okay, I guess I can go down here instead. So I think I will. That's right. Why did I think that I could just do that? I'm an idiot. I don't always think ahead of time, guys. But when I do, it at least looks like a mark of brilliance. back. <laughs> I didn't tell you to leave me. In fact, I don't tell you anything. I just respond in laughs and other stuff. Like, I should be lucky that Mario does not talk in absolute guttural noise. It's like, God, that would be hideous. You just traumatize the youth. I haven't seen Young this traumatized from Nintendo since staring at a Virtual Boy for two hours. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure was the same filter they used for that Hell in a Cell main event on Sunday. Oh man, that was like, utter trash. Like, not just the match, but why would you have it in like, all red lights? That would make it very difficult to see. Oh, whoa, shit. Nice of you guys to come back. <laughs> I just tossed the baby Yoshi and hope it doesn't break its legs. Are you going to be right back? All right. No problem. You just do what you gotta do, my friend. Yeah. Stone Slide Tower. It feels very weird to play the Wii U, because I haven't turned that on in, like, over a year. I mean, I pretty much didn't need it much, because I was mostly using the Switch. And every time I s go on Twitter, at least maybe once every couple months, I always see that image about the Wii U gamepad that had like 30 pounds of dust on it. And they keep calling it the cursed image. Which it kind of is. Like that screen's not going to last. The 
dust will just scratch it up. Oh, that's where the second coin is. I guess I'll have to run for it. Practically, it's also been years since I let's play New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I think I started that project around 2011, 2012. And that was one of my first Wii Let's Plays. The very first one was actually Paper Mario, believe it or not. Because trying to, like, uh, emulate that off of Nintendo 64 or Project 64 is utter shit. Much games, guys. Yeah, that's true. Hey, all right, all right. Of course, there was another ice flower. Did I expect anything else? Of course, I didn't. Why would they just give me a fire flower now? It was Colette's first Let's Play. Unfortunately, not the last. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't say unfortunately. That's a harsh thing to say. There's a random pipe over there anyway. Ah, well, it's not my problem. Oh, oh. I knew there was something over there. Ah, oh, nice, I did it. Can you let me pass, please? Thank you. I'm not a Balrog, and you are not Gandalf. Let me pass. Thank you. If all goes according to plan, I should definitely finish the second world by the end of the stream. Maybe a little bit of change as well. Like bits and pieces of World 3. Or 4, depending on what one I want to do. I can never understand why a superhero is we just stand there and like can't make do his thing. Like, we could have just, like, jumped him right then and there. Mario is, like, a pretty good jumper. That's what he makes his living for. Mario number one. Why do the flags look like sheet metal in this game? Have I played much of Mario Kart Tour? That's a bold question to say, assuming I played it at all. And I absolutely have not. Nor do I have plans to. If I was able to give up Pokemon Go, I definitely would not be giving Mario Kart Tour a chance.
Well, that's one way to get through that pretty fast. It's a cutscene. You wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a game if you could beat the boss before he powers up. What are you talking about? I'm still fighting the boss, though. Like before he powers up, he didn't really power up much. Like it was still a fight. Let's get some more lives. This might be the last one up house I do in a while. Because I'm likely not going to need much more now. Up! Oh, oh god, that sucked. Grab like two Bowsers. I break even on this. Maybe I'll get one out of it? No, three! I am surprised. I expected I'd only get one. Spike Spouting Sands. Oh, try saying that one three times fast. Oh, nice! That makes up for that debacle over at the 1-Up house. Spike gets a little bit more love in Mario games, being his own character in uh, Mario Tennis Aces. Which, by the way, I haven't played that game in a long time. And I'm pretty sure I got like a nice slew of new characters to play as now. It's just hard to get into because most of the times when you're online playing, you're either going to get a pretty good connection or you're just going to get dial-up. There's no in-between. And most of the times when you're, like, playing for, like, all the skins and stuff, it's just a hat for a character. And it loses its luster over time. Good to know there was a mini mushroom over here. I will be needing it. Nice, I can make it to the second coin. I gotta be extra careful I don't get hurt. Nice, found the hidden pipe. to come back here anyway. So let's just get it out of the way now. <laughs> okay, let me get myself back to normal so that I don't die.
I'd rather prefer Dragalia Lost over Mario Kart Tour because the former is so much less consistent on making you use up your money. Well, probably that and Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm sure there's still a lot of people that play uh, Fire Emblem Heroes too. Can never really get into like the gotcha games for obvious reasons. Okay, why do I feel like there's a pipe around here? Oh, you know what? There probably is. I bet you it has something to do with... Spouting sand? Is it over here? Ah, here it is. Anyway, I'm not going to get into too much over, like, games with microtransactions. Because until Nite Nintendo is told that what they're doing is horribly bad or even illegal, what's to stop them from doing it? At least in the, uh, mobile, uh... Like, in the mobile branch, of course they're going to look at extracting every method they can. Legally can. Of uh, getting money because they know that people will go for it. As long as you got them hooked, what's to stop them from like going a different way? Piranha plants on ice. That's probably the parody of Yuri on ice. Frozen? Why would it be the period of Frozen? I don't think there was any piranha plants in Frozen. Also, I find it pretty sad that you of all people, Cole, would have said Frozen first. Like, in our time, wouldn't we have said Ice Age? Because that was like around our time. When becoming like young adults or even teenagers. Like Ice Age was where it was at. Is there any reason why I should be going up this way? No. Maybe for what's over here. I'm curious. Like, last time I played this game with, like, three other guys. Like, for the marathon. We didn't def- We didn't even do these levels, because... Going through, like, secret levels is definitely not speedrun strats at all. I'm just saying. But if you were to, like, try to go through the game as fast as you could, taking the ice route instead of, like, the water world was faster. And that's if you weren't using warps. And what were they thinking come up with, like, certain rooms that had, like, five or six piranha plants cramped together? That is intimidating, to say the least. What 
Excuse me? I can't believe I missed that guy. I wonder if Mario ever tried to go down those flagpoles without using gloves. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was like a hugely poor idea. And I'm talking huge. Good thing it's not like Mario 64 where you can like uh, slide to your death. <laughs> Too bad you can't just like fast travel. Okay, there's still like three more levels to do in the uh, layer cake desert. Wait, what am I doing? There's a warp pipe over there. Well, that's Soda Jungle right there. Oh yeah, that's the one that has the creepy forest. That's pretty neat. Oh, that way it takes you back to World 1, that's right. I'll just run up a slide. Yeah, that's how Mario can do it. Don't even have to worry about ice physics at all. Alright, there's still one more level I can do on the bottom. Let me do dry desert mushrooms first. And there's one thing that I can't really accuse mushrooms of being, it's dry. Every time you bite into one, you get like that watery, uh, mushy texture. And I hate it. It almost tastes like raw earth. That's why I can never get into mushrooms. I like cream of mushroom soup because at least the mushrooms are tiny and you don't even have to chew them. It was great with that hash brown casserole, by the way. Are you kidding me? He would put up the spike ball right at that moment. Of course he would. Controlled by poor timing. <laughs> Give me the nut. Thanks, much appreciate. <laughs> You'll make your life easier just by not using the power block, I'm just saying. It's just there to trick ya. Oh yeah, time to go for the kill. Well, that's one way to get through that stage. <laughs> Good thing my timing wasn't off.